Hi there, my name is Ian Ponchev. I am the founder of Prepped. And in this tutorial video, I would like to introduce you to Prepped Offline, which is a Chrome extension we've built that allows you to access all of your prep files without using the internet. So this is the application you will use while you're actually competing. Uh, so let's jump straight into it. I am on our website, prep.in. And first, I wanna make sure that you actually have Prepped Offline installed. So I'm going to scroll to the very bottom of this website. And at the very, very bottom in the footer, um, you have links for the install. So if you click on Prepped Offline, tab, and from here, you can add Prepped Offline to Chrome. So just click on the blue Add to Chrome button, select Add Extension, and just like that, the extension has been added. So this uh, kind of pinkish color with sort of the download icon, that is the prepped offline icon. So let's go ahead and actually use it. Um, so you're going to, in order to use prepped offline, you have to be online to synchronize all your files. And once you've synchronized your files, you can go offline, you can turn prepped offline off, you can shut down your computer. Uh, whenever you open up prepped offline, it's going to check to see if you're online or not. And if it finds that you're offline, it's just going to retrieve the files from your most previous sync. Um, but of course, you have to be online to do that initial synchronization. So we're online right now, so I'll go ahead and do that. So you just click on the icon, it's going to open up the launcher for Prepped Offline, and uh, it'll prompt you to log in. And in my case, I was already logged into Prep, so it's just logged me automatically. Um, but here, uh, you've got the three different Prepped uh, apps that can be synchronized offline. So the library, Extemp, Congress. Because I uninstalled and reinstalled Prepped Offline just now, it doesn't have a history of previous synchronizations. But we'll do that right now. So first you'll select which team account you want to synchronize. Um, it's not really a big deal for most people because most people are only part of one team. Um, but if you're part of multiple teams, you'll want to select the right account. Um, then you'll want to select which apps to synchronize. You may want to synchronize all of them. Um, if you know you just want to use Extemp or you just want to use Congress, you can adjust this. The only real benefit in synchronizing uh, you know, one or two of the apps as opposed to all three is that it might save you a little bit in terms of um, you know, the, the memory capacity of the computer, but really it's, it's, it's not going to be a problem for the vast majority of computers out there. Um, but it's just it's just an option to keep in mind. Or if you want a faster synchronization, let's say you're running out the door, uh, you're at a hotel, and like you know you had to be in the car five minutes ago, and you're start trying to synchronize, and you you know maybe you just synchronize that one event for the day, right? Um, but otherwise, you would select all three, and then what to synchronize, right? So you can turn PDFs off, and you can also turn the news feed off. Uh, so the news feed, as you know, auto files. 100, more, over 100,000 articles from 50 different news sources. And then the PDFs are just whichever PDFs you've uploaded to Prepped. Um, again, the reason you would turn these off is mostly to save time. Um, the PDFs can take a while to synchronize, uh, and so can the news feed. So if you're really pressed for time, you can turn those off. But in our case, we'll leave them all on. And then you would just press Synchronize Prepped. Um, there's one other thing to point out here, though, and that is that if you have a previous synchronization, and for some reason, prep offline is being a little glitchy. You can press wipe data, uh, which is going to clear everything, and then you can do a fresh synchronization. Otherwise, if you synchronize after you've, you've previously synchronized, it's just going to update the files that were changed. So it just keeps adding to the files that you already have. Um, but if you wipe the data, it's going to start everything from scratch, and that might give you a, a cleaner, higher performing experience. And of course, if you have some problems with prepped offline, you can click on this and it's gonna give you some troubleshooting advice as well. It's gonna tell you to first wipe the data uh, by clicking that button, two, uninstall and reinstall Prepped Offline, and then three, reset the Chrome browser. And these are links uh, that give you, you know, more details in terms of how you can do those particular things. But let's go ahead and synchronize Prepped. So you just press that button, and it's gonna take around two to three minutes to synchronize over 100,000 articles. Uh, which we think is really, really fast. Um, you know, pretty much any top offline file service is 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 going to be around that, if not slower. And you know, obviously, there are a number of other applications that have been built for extemporaneous speaking. None of them are nearly as fast as Prepped. 
Uh, the prep team is just really fantastic. We've built a great technology. It's very high performing. So it's only gonna take a couple minutes to get hundreds of thousands of files, which we're quite proud of that accomplishment. But while we wait, let's talk about just some best practices for using prepped offline. Um, it, we've tested it out thoroughly. It's gone through several seasons of being used competitively. Uh, so we feel very confident that it's going to work reliably and that you should be able to compete without, you know, with full confidence. Uh, that said, um, no piece of software is, is perfect. And if there is an issue with prepped offline, we want to make sure that you understand how to use it uh, and, and how to sort of work around that issue. So there's three sort of tips and best practices that I can provide. The first is don't wait right before a round to synchronize, especially if it's your first time using prepped. It's best to synchronize the day or the night before from home or from school uh, when you're on an internet connection that you know is reliable. Um, also, if it happens to be the case that there is a problem and you, and you reach out to us, um, you can always email hello at prep.in, whereas, you know, we will respond as soon as we possibly can if there's an issue with prepped offline. Um, if you reach out the day before, we'll have time to get you a response and provide some feedback. If you reach out to us 10 minutes before the round starts, chances are slim that we're going to be able to solve the problem right before the round actually takes place. So again, always synchronize the night before from a stable internet connection. That doesn't mean you can't try synchronizing right before the round, but if there is an issue synchronizing off of some school computer that um, some school internet network that your computer doesn't really recognize, uh, then at least you have the synchronization from the night before. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, keep an eye out on the emails that we send. Uh, we update prepped offline frequently throughout the year. Uh, most updates won't cause any issues, but some of the updates won't be backwards compatible, meaning that older versions of prepped offline will break. So we will email you and tell you when you have to uninstall prepped offline and reinstall it. And please respond to those emails. Or you don't have to write back, but take action when you when you get an email instructing you to update prepped offline. And the way you uninstall is really simple. You just find that icon and you right click and you click remove from Chrome. And that's going to remove the extension. And then you find the link for prepped offline either in the apps or on our website and you reinstall it and you'll be good to go. So keep an eye on the emails there. The third bit of advice I can give you is if you are having real trouble synchronizing or loading prepped offline, uh, more often than not, the actual issue is locally on your computer. Some setting was changed on your browser, or maybe there was another extension you installed which is interfering. Um, in that case, what you can do is um, uh, simply do a browser reset. And for instructions, just go to help.prep.in and type in reset. And it's going to pull up this article essentially, reset your browser. And it's going to give you tips on how to do uh, that browser reset. Uh, oops, I think I might have lost it actually. Let's see. Right, so um, basically you'll type this text into Chrome, you'll do the reset um, from the beginning of time, and that's going to restore Chrome to its original settings and more often than not, it will solve the issue. Uh, of course, it's it, it will delete the extensions that you have or it will uninstall them. So you'll wanna go back and install the prepped offline extension once you've done that. So those are the three tips that I can give. Um, again, don't synchronize right before a round, do it the night before. Two, keep an eye out on the emails that we send and update prepped online when we instruct you. And three, if you are having real problems, do the browser synchronization, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, the browser reset go to help.prep.in, type in reset, and you'll get instructions for how to do that. So as you can tell, Prepped Offline has synchronized. Um, so that's it, right? So now we can open any one of these apps and it's gonna have the information we need. So I'm going to go offline really quick, turn my Wi-Fi off, um, and just open one of these. So let's open up the library. Uh, and so this has the articles that I've, I've synchronized, right? So everything's in there. Um, you know, you've, you've got all your highlights. Uh, there are some changes in functionality to prepped offline so they can be compliant, right? So for example, um, you, can't, you can't navigate through multiple views um, and also the highlight colors all become a single color. In the case of the library, they all become green, right? Because some circuits don't allow you to highlight in multiple colors. So we're very mindful of what the actual restrictions are for particular circuits 
and we, we, we've ensured that propped offline is compliant in those circuits. Um, of course, you can also create a round, right? So this is just as you would use any of the apps. Um, right, and so you've got uh, your timer, and then we'll go into the news feed. And we'll just add these articles to the round. Right, so you can do this, of course, from Extemp and also from uh, the library. And of course, Congress has a different experience as well uh, when it comes to just the functionality allows for online or offline. But yeah, I mean, the, the offline apps are, you know, functionally the same as the online apps. They'll perform the same way. Um, you don't have to do anything beyond that. So I'm going to click on this uh, button to close it out. And I'm going to open up Private Offline again. Now, remember, I'm still offline. So you can just, re and it's going to show you when was the last synchronization. And you can open any of the other apps. Um, right, so this is Extemp. And then I'll close out Prepped Offline. I'll go back to the browser to open it up from here. And this is Congress. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that you found this tutorial video useful. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, please take to heart the sort of like best practices that I shared. And if you do have questions or issues, you can always email us at hello at prep.in um, and we will be sure to timely respond to you. Thank you very much.